exciting day. The uh, man from TNT has just been, and we've got this here. Oh, let's see what we've got in here. Yeah, we open it. Mm -hmm. so Oh, look at that. Good. Okay, I see. I see that's good. So, what we've got is a Two cylinder by the looks of it, all rubber henter. Um, let's see that I'm going to read it. Supposed to be an M twenty ten D. It's uh, second hand, but you need to check it over. It's got a paint. Sail drive bolts on. Um, looks good, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, M2010B, that's what we've got. Okay. For some reason, I was expecting one cylinder, but it's also two cylinders, so I'm supposed to show the right eye. But it is the right engine, the 2010. Oh, should be a bit smoother running than a single, shouldn't it? Then here we've got an engine mounting bed. The engine and cell drive mount bed, which is interesting. I'll have to do a bit of reading that one. I don't know what's in that box. And underneath, I see the cell drive. Cell drive there, which mounts on the back there with all the bolts in place. It's impressively correct. Looks good. What we've got in this box is this. Let's see what we've got in here. I don't know what's in this one. Be a bit careful because I don't know what's in here. Ah, of course, this is the electric, isn't it? A bit gingerly, isn't it? There we go. Like that. And then here we have. Controls. So the control panel, reverse counter, buzzer, start button, pre blow, and the various cables. Good. So the only thing I haven't got, obviously, is a propeller. Other than that, it's all there. And that seems to have a spline on it. Good. Ah, there we go. Power. That's good. Ah, I didn't need to read the small bed. Yeah. It's <laughs> big. If you stood around your side, you could have seen it. Isn't I it? actually you wanted to. Yeah. I actually showed it. So. Lovely. Pleased with that. Obviously, I've got to read up a bit on this. I don't know this engine. I should place it Perkins Diesel, but I don't know this engine, so I must, must learn a little bit. Um, 
dry, that's a lot. Leave it. See if you need no water in it. I don't want to leave it with water in it. So that's rather important. Let's see, impeller. Yeah, good. There it is. Now, it's a bit in the way there, so Kerry and I will have to work out how to move it. Looks like we could move it though, without too much trouble. One part of the time. So we'll shift it somewhere out of the way now. And there it will sit for a little while. Let's spin round, you'll see station number five in progress. Um, it doesn't have a floor beam, this one, so. Uh, a bit of wood screwed across the bottom, as, as I said earlier. You can see one side gluing up there. The deck beams in the other shed gluing up, as is an extra piece of I have to laminate a piece for over there. So, and that's gluing up at the moment. But it's looking good. It's nearly done, really. It's not far off. Get the deck beam on there, and that that will mainly be that. So that's good. Station six will be the next one. That's a more involved one because it's a bulkhead. Or could that we walk through one side's a solid wall that will be through to the toilet head the other side's sort of a half wall that will be the division between the city and the galley area yeah good yeah zooming back there's the uh, station five frame all in one piece uh, just got to sand the epoxy filler back so it's been filled as i said i've just said before i just screwed a piece of wood across the bottom to keep it in shape without a floor beam yeah and uh, i say completely finished in the construction some epoxy filler in places just going to sand that back now as soon as i've finished videoing it and uh then it'll go into the stack scan round into that stack over there and finish parts and that'll be that done and it'll be time to loft out the number six and make a start on that so there we go coming on nicely and there it is in the stack finished for now looking good stacks getting quite big that's good and what i've done now is i've just lofted out in green Lofted out the station six lines. Somebody coming in the door. There's a Kerry. Oh, hi. oh yeah. So yeah, station six lofted. Cold today. Might have made a little bit of a mistake on station four. I thought I, I think I might have located a little error, but um, we'll see when I stack when I assemble all the cross sections. It will be obvious then if I've got something wrong. I'll have to adjust accordingly. Good, that's me finished for now. Yeah, so working on the uh, number six bulkhead, that's that's one half, that's the, the starboard side of it. It can be, as I said many a time, the division between the nav table and the and the head. There's the port side of it, It'll be the division between the galley and the, the settees. Um, so I've cut them out, they're laid on the lofted lines. Need to put a floor beam across there. I'm going to shift that floor beam there across as it comes on the bulkhead. It's, it's, I can't see the sense in having a, a battens across the bottom of the bulkhead and then a couple of inches gap and then a floor beam. It seems ridiculous. So I'm going to put that on the aft side of the bulkhead. Um, I'm about to go and glue up a deck beam there for that. Obviously this needs battened all around, some mahogany trim around that opening there. Um, have a mahogany trim up that edge, the way I'm waving the camera to show you what I mean, up that inner edge of that side and up that side and it'll be a sort of a post in the opening there. So I'll use my recycled tongue groove mahogany for that. I shall get on with that in a minute. Looking good. And the sun's shining today, it's a bit warmer. I'm going to, have to put the heater on, it's all fairly comfy. It's supposed to warm up as the week goes on and then, then cool a bit for Christmas, but it's, uh, at the moment the forecast for Christmas is fine, so hopefully that's going to be warm enough to get some work done. That'd be nice. 
going to get this bulkhead finished by the end of December. It's the 16th today, so I've, you know, I'm on target. This is halfway through December. This is the second section for December. So I get this one finished in December, it'd be very good. And then uh, numbers seven and eight are just uh, frames. Well, actually eight isn't quite. Seven's a frame, eight's a frame with a little bit of a bulkhead in it. Um, be the other end of the head section. Um, should get those done easy enough though. So all's on target. I'm looking good. Now, the way things look at the moment, I could well be assembling it in April, which is exciting. I'm pleased. Good. Time to get on. And down here is the the deck beam, which is uh, laminating, gluing up, as you can tell. Hundreds of clamps on it. I made this deck beam extra wide, it's, it's seven centimetres wide. And the reason for that is I'm going to then cut it in half lengthwise and glue one half either side of the ply bulkhead part with a bit of uh, something in the middle to fill the gap in the, in the walkthrough part. But yeah, so that's the way that's going to go. Gluing at the moment. I'll leave it alone for now. Here we go. And that really is as far as I go today. Um, I've got the floor beam gluing on there, clamping on. I've got one batten gluing on there. I've got a few other clamps around just holding things square and level. And I've run out of clamps. So um, I have to wait for some glue to dry before I can take clamps off various places and uh, progress. But anyhow, reasonable start. Yep, there we are.